At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Please! Madam President! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please! Please? Please? Has the leader of the deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Please! Madam President! Please! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! Madam President! Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. Stay here. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! 
Are there many more? Let's eat up there like rats. The more you look, the more you find. No, we don't have to spend the night here. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Get orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. Checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing.
Put the rifle down and turn around with your hands in the air. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm on your side. I can shoot the leader of the Deviants and stop the revolution, but you have to let me. Put the gun down, turn around. This is your last warning. I know you. You're Connor, the android from that hostage situation. I knew we'd meet again. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere. Stay right there. Connor! Connor! Fucking androids. Bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. What? The bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. They don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. Please don't move. Marcus. Thank you. I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... <sighs> Never mind. I found this on the floor. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. 
you. you. You've saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit with our armed forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been interned pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Till it's over, okay? Cover me! 
signal. Stand by. Follow me! We can't move forward! That machine gun is taking down everything that moves! Stand by. In position. Stand by. For Jericho! On my signal. In position. Stand by. For Jericho! Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't Freedom is just across the river. Okay? And watch the current. will freeze. It's not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. You take good care of yourselves. Okay. I'll see you on the other side.
We're far enough out. We can use the engine. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, and play music, and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Kara? What will you do when we're on the other side? What will I do? I'll lie down in the grass and watch the clouds drift by. They're coming towards us! Took me a while to find you, Marcus. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants, and I always accomplish my mission. We fought for our dream and we lost. You can't hold my people down forever. One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? And now, straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Joss? 
Yes, Michael, authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit, and the area around the Hart Plaza camp is now under control. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment, and they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. Law and order has finally been restored to the streets of Detroit. There is a general feeling of shock in Detroit after the terrible events of the last few hours. And initial estimates report several hundred troops have been killed. According to our sources, the deviant leader known as Marcus was shot during the fight. The death of the deviant leader marks the end of the Android Rebellion. The destruction of the androids in the camps can now continue as planned. Nevertheless, it will take some time for Detroit to recover from these events. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. 
I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now. Thank you. 